Anaphylaxis is a systemic reaction that can occur when a patient who is allergic comes into contact with the allergen they have been sensitized to. Clinical symptoms may be mild, moderate, severe, protracted, or biphasic. The allergic response begins with exposure. As antigen molecules enter the bloodstream, they interact with IgE antibodies bound to mast cells and basophils. This union of antigen and antibody produces a complex sequence of intracellular biochemical events in the form of a cascade. A signal sent through the IgE antibody to the cell's interior begins the sequential activation of a series of enzymes. This leads to the influx of calcium into the cell and the fusion of granules with the cell's external membrane. The result is degranulation with the release of histamine and other chemical mediators into the extracellular space. These mediators flow through the body and bind to receptor sites at target organs, producing physiologic effects such as vasodilation and increased vascular permeability. In the lungs, histamine produces smooth muscle contraction, which causes obstruction, wheezing, and shortness of breath. A combination of mechanisms results in myocardial depression. To overcome these life-threatening events, epinephrine must be self-administered without delay. Upon injection, epinephrine works rapidly at organ sites to counter the effects of chemical mediators, acting to constrict blood vessels and reduce vascular permeability, relax smooth muscles of the airway, and stimulate the heart rate. This generally reverses the most dangerous effects of an anaphylactic reaction, allowing time for transport to an emergency center for full professional care. However, in some cases, the continued flow of mediators prolongs the pathophysiological effects or produces a relapse of the anaphylactic state. A single dose of epinephrine is not enough to reverse reactions in these cases. Patients should be advised that if symptoms have not improved within about five minutes after the first injection, a second dose is indicated. A second dose of epinephrine may be essential to adequately counter the anaphylactic reaction. The understanding of anaphylaxis as a continuum with the potential for a severe, protracted, or biphasic event developing after the initial phase underscores the need for two doses of epinephrine to be readily available for patients at risk.